Oh, he's so little. Grandpa's yeah. noticing you have lots of hair, Drake. Linda, mm -hmm. who, who delivered him? Dr. Logie. Dr. Logie. Awesome. I will. Oh, Nathan's so going to be sorry he missed this. No, not exactly the way it was planned. That's for sure. Oh, well, I'm just glad they're okay. Lena, can we get the oxygen I'm going? trying to. You can see his little chest moving. I can see it even right here in the camera, in the viewer. Yeah. Mm. So why did they take x-rays? To look at the numbers. Oh, okay. And I want to have a such on the second one, please. I think it just needs to plug in. I don't know if I can hear the sound. battery is uh, oh, look at the team that has to follow this little baby He's better, like he's not <laughs> requiring any oxygen now. Mm -hmm. We've just, to put the tube in, we sedated him. Mm -hmm. So we're helping him breathe mm -hmm. at this point because of the sedation. And mm -hmm. for the transport, mm -hmm. because he was in some distress before, we just want to make sure that there's, you know, for him going to any potential problems. He has a line in his belly button. Mm -hmm. That's probably going to come out. Nothing's going into it right now. That's where he got his antibiotics and the initial IV fluids. I started one in his hand. Um, it's a different type of line. Mm -hmm. um, this one just it's like your ID. He's got he's got it in his hand. That other one goes in a bit deeper into bigger veins. Mm -hmm. um, all the other stuff is external. The leads on his chest just tell us what his heart's beating at. Mm -hmm. uh, the one on his foot tells us if we're giving him enough oxygen or not enough. Right now it's good. He's got a blood pressure cuff on. And he's got um, dextrose solution, which is sort of in lieu of food right now. Yeah. Um, too much customers you can use. Once we roll out, I'll give you just a little sheet, the phone number, and it will be under your last name. Mm -hmm. 
My husband's already in Edmonton. Is it okay for him to go and see? Yes, absolutely. We're on the fifth floor, and mm -hmm. this is phone number, places to eat, and so as soon, I know you just had surgery, mm -hmm. <laughs> so as soon as you can make it up there, then. There's places to eat as soon as I'm good on fire and doing this, so. Okay. What a day. <laughs> Do you have any questions? You can touch it. <laughs> If you probably turn right up. Oh, there you go. There's a lot of stuff going on in there, but it's okay. He's also been given antibiotics. Just we don't. The doctor was unclear about how long your membranes have been ruptured, and yeah. And he came so fast, and sometimes mm -hmm. those things are as a result of an infection. So we treat babies right after that. If there's any sign that they even might be exposed to a bacteria, then we give them antibiotics because they're too fragile to mess around with. Mm -hmm. Drake? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So if she comes up tomorrow, is there, can she stay in the hospital? Mm -hmm. The way the NICU works, it's, you can't, like, there's no beds there that they don't, they can't nurse the mom and the baby at the same time. Mm -hmm. right? right. But uh, if you can get a bed on postpartum, then mm -hmm. you'll be close. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's like two floors mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, cross your fingers. <laughs> a bed on postpartum. Mm. Is there any way to know how long he'll need to be in event? We typically say up to their due date, but the later they're born, like he's 35 weeks, he's quite close to his due mm -hmm. date. I'm not giving you any certainty because things change mm -hmm. very quickly mm -hmm. with them, but typically they'll go home before their due date at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it could be a few weeks? The potential exists because they have I mean, he's got problems with his lungs, but in addition to that, they'll sometimes have difficulty feeding, mm -hmm. uh, especially if they've had a stressful delivery. It kind of just puts them back a, a little bit, like, mm -hmm. as far as eating goes. So once he can take all his food by mouth, and they'll just do a maturity test on him, making sure that he can sit up um, for, like, a length of time. And then those are the, the criteria for him to go home. Mm -hmm. on his own, eating on his own. And sometimes they just turn around, they're gone like in the next couple days, sometimes it's a matter of weeks. Mm -hmm. He was, he was quite compromised at, like at the delivery. Yeah. His blood gas sh reflected that, but mm -hmm. then he came mm -hmm. around right away. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Just like mm -hmm. Yeah, he's really cute, he's very, very cute. Yes, I'm sorry. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <It's so fun. laughs> well, we'll see you in Edmonton, and then there won't be all this mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So will you be still with him at the door? I'm going to be done my shift, but I'm going to hand over to, there's going to be a, a nurses, RTs, mm -hmm. and physician mm -hmm. all taking care of him. Mm -hmm. So, Mark and I will take care of him until we can. Yep. So when do you think that, like obviously there'll be stuff to do after you get there before anybody can see him. How long do you think? What do you mean stuff to do? Well like to get him settled or whatever. We like just move him into the bed and then that's it. Like so they, so they there might could be somebody there waiting for him and that would be alright? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, if, dad, if dad is there, that's the other thing. Um, Mom and Dad can visit 24 hours a day without restrictions, mm -hmm. and they can put people on a list so that they can come in and out without mm -hmm. Mom and Dad there. Right. And if and they they need to be on that list, otherwise they're not allowed right. into the NICU. Just as just right. to protect their mm -hmm. patients. Right. So if Dad is waiting there, he does not need to wait. To, he can come walk in the unit with us. Okay. 